Welcome to Wearside of ships, of industry, and of a glorious past. In this part of Britain, the folk are famous for their skills and the warmth of their hospitality. Washington Hall was the birthplace of the Washingtons, whose famous son was George, first president of the USA. It's a mecca for touring Americans. From a dependence on coal, Tyne and Weir has progressed to the electronic age. Durham Cathedral, that bastion of Norman skills and style, broods over the River Weir, leaving us to ponder on the changes it must have seen over ten centuries. Where there was once dereliction, towering pit heaps and greyness, now there are woods, fields and green, rolling countryside. Lovely evening to be alive. It's sunlit, the motor cars on song, and uh, Eddie, the Earl of Dewsbury, are driving it beautifully. You think so? It's a very pleasant journey, you know, up to the mansion. It's knockout manor, and it's the most exciting night of my life. I've never been to a country party before. Uh, yes. You'll enjoy it. Knockout manor, it's just on the left, Eddie, so just pull in nicely up the drive. Absolutely superb drive, Eddie. Thank you very much. Just park the car and put round the corner, will you, and see you on the Phil Rouge. In the meanwhile, let me say a welcome from Sunderland. <laughs> Fantastic. And here we are having an international party tonight. First of all, let us welcome Guido Pancaldi and Gennaro Olivieri. <laughs> Hello. Good evening. We know that. Uh, the people here in Sunderland, Sunderland have a tremendous heart and we are very happy because tonight they will show their friendliness, their friendship and their warmth, their warmth <laughs> to all Europe. Let us hope so too, but in the meanwhile, have you seen Knockout Manor? Come no. with me, you come with me, open the doors and let us go inside. What about that? Oh, the wonderful people, the beautiful people of Sunderland are joining me, seated for a banquet and you know, there are 1,179 members of the nobility living in the UK, and we dedicate this program to them. I have my little tweeny with me, who is called Little Jules from Sunderland. We're now going to welcome the teens. So first of all, let us say welcome to Senegalia from Italy and Maria. Maria, little applause, a little... Thank you very much. And a little rose too, it is a tiny one from uh, Bitola, from Yugoslavia, and the little girl's name is Zora. Zora, there you are, my love. Thank you. And Manuela, from Portugal, representing the Algarve tonight. And a small kiss. Thank you very much. And uh, from Belgium, the team of Evagam, and the girl's name, would you believe, is Elder, our Elder. There you are, my love. And from Switzerland, from Le Bois, the young lady is Nicole. Nicole! From France, a suburb of Issy in Moulineau. From Paris, we have Martine. Martine, your rose, my love. Oh, merci, merci, mademoiselle. And finally, a lovely girl from Sunderland representing Great Britain tonight, and she is Rhodes, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. My tweeny, thank you very much indeed for being so courteous and so civil, so beautiful and so charming. And now let us describe the first game, because we have the banquet. The girls that you have just seen are seating themselves at the banquet. We are going to have a repas, which of course begins as usual, as everybody knows in Sunderland and the five districts of Tyne and Weir begins with champagne. So the champagne to be served by the six butlers who are playing the game. Gennaro, I think we can start. Attention! Attention, three, two, one. And we're off, get the cheers going, by the way. No traitors being played. <laughs> All hell breaking loose. The champagne is delivered, bottle after bottle. Just three bottles to go. Three bottles in the lead, we have Switzerland. Then we have Britain. Sunderland, Switzerland in the lead. It's important for Sunderland to get off to a lightning start. If the bottle is dropped, then the girl assistant can come and deliver. Switzerland in the lead. From Sunderland. 
The third bottle going in. Important for Sunderland to be up with the leaders all the way through. Three bottles for Yugoslavia. Three for Italy. Where are Sunderland? Come on, Sunderland. We're with you. With three for Sunderland, the game finishes when Jeeves the butler is back, seated on the table. And I don't think we've done alarmingly well on the first game. But Gennaro is here. Gennaro comes to tell us uh, the arrivals first. Can they lose these wonderful bottles of champagne? I'll give you the position. Yes. Yugoslavia is first. Vitola are first. Switzerland is second. Les Bois second. Italy third. Senegal is third. F uh, France is fourth. Ici fourth. Portugal is fifth. The Algarve fifth. Unfortunately, Great Britain at the sixth place. Oh, no. Fifth or some, sixth or some. Then the points for Yugoslavia, six points. Vitola, six points. For Switzerland, five points. Les Bois, five. For Italy, four points. Senegal, four. For France, three points. EC, three. For Portugal, two points. The Algarve, two. And for Great Britain, one point. Sunderland, only one point. So with Yugoslavia in the lead, we go for the first round of the Pil Rouge. And over to Edward. Well, we're uh, going into a di different field altogether now. We're going fox wandering. We've got uh, hounds and wounds from that, and the fox to chase. But really, it's at the headquarters who decide what's coming with Guido Pancalde. Free the fox. <coughs> Attention. Three, two, one. And, up, and this is a real old start. They get off a real run, and down they go and pick something or you like out of that one. It's a bit difficult. They all have four runs, and their fastest time counts for the final scoring. So, whichever you want to fancy, this is the moment to get it done. Belgium, France, Great Britain, Italy, Portugal, Switzerland, Yugoslavia. And the youngins are liking this with a vengeance. And the adults, too. It's France in the lead. France in the league, going over first, should get the full points. <laughs> I love where they go like that. I haven't got to do it. They're getting a lot of uh, effort given in from the judges. They're telling them which way to go or which way not to go. I'm not sure which way. And they're through. <laughs> Out they come. The Frenchman went the wrong way. Well, it's a travel system in the different countries, you see, but they don't at the moment. They come from back there. And the crowd, oh, hey, what's that? There's the referee. So it's a hard going game. And the hands of Yugoslavia. And it, Yugoslavia's got into the lead. He's the only one that's got it. Italy's got it. Here comes, well, he's getting the crate. He's going to be knocked out a little bit. I mean, never know how well he can go and have a sleeve. What's he wanting? He doesn't want well, that was a very good start. We're still coming. Hugo Slav. And what's a uh, Portugal man saying something? So they said they must lie the game. They're still going. Yeah, yeah, it's a good start of France. They made a trip uh, too much until it was tired and it don't arrive. Yeah. So we have for Yugoslavia, one minute 30 seconds. For Italy, one minute ter 33 seconds. For Switzerland, 136. Great Britain, 137. Home people. <laughs> <laughs> Belgium, 140. Portugal 2 0 he lost the tail, yeah. and France 2 0 Back to Stuart. Maria Stefania from Italy, from Senegal, who is here with a very broad smile, and she is equipped with trifles because a couple from France, from Issy, a boy and a girl, have got to steal chickens from the kitchen. The kitchen has three windows. Under the cover here are chickens that they have to steal. But if Maria Stefania catches them at her window, they get the solid trifle straight in the mush. So I'm coming to Gennaro to start the game for France. Three chickens in the fastest possible time, Gennaro. Attention. 
3, 2, 1. They race down, they pick up a cover. It's a good one, it's a good chicken. It goes in the sack, and he goes between the shafts. Where is Maria Stefan? Yes! She's got a trifle in the face. <laughs> and if you get a trifle, then that chicken does not count. It is void. France have two. Two for the French. We're coming again. This little girl here. Ali, 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 Ali. Good even Florence. They have three chickens and they put them down in the quickest possible time. Chickens are real chickens, right? Exit. So three chickens, one, two, and oh! <laughs> yes, we have a time, a uh, very short time for France. 31 seconds. 31 seconds for France. That's early France and now. Ah, subito Italia. Come on, Senegal. They saunter in, they take their time, they don't care about the English way of life, our country house party, Gennaro. Attenzione. Three, two, one. Very strong team. The Italians from Senegal. That's a good one. Nope. That was a trifle straight in the face. The girl checking the trifles is Yugoslav. From Pitola. But the Senegalian team, lovely town on the Adriatic coast of Italy. 12 miles of sandy beaches, a lot of sun. They've just built a new international airport there to cater for you holiday tourists. A lovely team. Come here to enjoy themselves. Handpicked all these teams here tonight. Oh, they've gone for the middle one again. They look so three chickens. It goes in and oh, off. The... Well, uh, can you just put the wheel on the wagon, whatever that is in Italian? What's Italian? But put the wheel back on wagon, love. Uh, and I, I, this always happens, you know, at a country house party in England. It always happens. But in the meanwhile, right there you are. There's yours. Uh, for Italy, 38 seconds. 38 seconds for Senegal. Now, Bitola. Bitola, welcome. Welcome to the shores of England, all the way from Macedonia. On the line. Bosnia. Three, two, one. It's a good guess, good chicken. The girl chucking the trifles underneath is Jeanette. And she's from France, from Issy. Bitola from the south of Yugoslavia. As you know, Yugoslavia is a brand new country. Macedonia makes up one of the six republics of Yugoslavia. And they all date back to 1943. And before I start to tell you the history, flipping it. Wonderful. Give him some applause there. They've come a long way for this. They embrace each other. Look at that. That's the spirit of knockout. Take the chickens away. They may be happy because they have at the moment the best time 28 seconds. What 28. a fantastic start of Bitola. Here comes Avergam. Good luck to Avergam, the Belgians. And that. Three, two, and. It's all about guessing. We are going next. I wonder how, we, how good we are at guessing. Because you've got the game by now. There are three windows one, two, and three. That's a trifle. And if you get the trifle in the mush, you've got to put the chicken back under the Turin cover. Which wind is he going for? He goes for number three. It's a good chick. Back he comes. Off goes the young lady. Susanna, it's good. Smothered in trifle, but it's good. And the game finishes when we're on the... Yeah, you can let go of the chickens if you like. It's We've got the time. Whoop. Whoopee, 33 seconds for Belgium. 33 and our wagon is decidedly rickety. In comes Sunderland. Paul and Yvonne. Attention, three, two, one. Yes, I'm really good at guessing. Oh, a trifle. Come on, Yvonne, as quick as you can. Pick up those heels and go. Yvonne, the black belt karate, can she guess? Yes, she's guessed one chicken. Give her some applause. We need it. There's one cup. Which window will he go for? It's all about guessing. He goes for trap one. Trap one is good. Well done. Well done, young Paul. We have two. We have two. It's essential now that Yvonne guesses right. She's on the gallop, picks up her heels and goes. She's guessed right. Give us some applause. Come here, Don't play the dispense. Yvonne, let us have a look what you've done. Uh, oh, oh, 30, 37. 37 seconds. 37, not bad, but not good enough. No. Portugal come next. 
I think so. Fresh, Deutsch, um. All right, they go. Big, big four. This guy is called Jose. And he's a, he's a brilliant 400 meter runner. She is called Marina. Put the chicken back. Under the touring cover. Under, under, under. That's it, off. Jose, you have a lot to do. He goes for trap one. He's into trap one. Two chickens. Rarina, a trifle. Rarina, only your back, 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 back. Yeah, see. And it's got to go, and it's difficult. She comes back, and it's all up to Jose. This is your third chance, Jose. Give him some applause as he goes. Come on, it's all about friendship. He's gone for trap one. He puts it down. And he says, oh dear, look, I'm here. Look at the face on it, the face, the face, the face, the face on Rarina. Look at that, full of the custard pie and the fruits of success <laughs> or non-success in Sunderland. She's lovely and she gets 58 seconds. 58, let's go to the points. To the points. We have first for Yugoslavia, six points. Another six points for Bitula of Yugoslavia. For France, five points. For EC, five points. For Belgium, four points. Afghan, four. For Great Britain, three points. Sunderland, three, they're coming up. For Italy, two points. Senegal, you two. And for Portugal, one point. The Algarve, just one point. Let's look at the readout now and let's see what, how the match is taking shape. Vitola with 12 points. Issy with eight. Senegal, you six. Lebois, five. Evergham, four. But equal fifth are Sunderland with four points along to our next uh, merry game. And the water is flowing down the trout stream that we have built in the middle of the Princess Anne Park in Washington. At the bottom, two fishermen, one from Yugoslavia, the other from Switzerland, and they have to catch trout. And the trout have to be caught by two girls perched precariously on two rafts with two large nets. Up the slope they go, reeling themselves in at the top of the trout. We do. Attention. Three, two, one. So they reel themselves to the top of the trout stream. And at the top, they have a trout. One trout at a time. And by the way, during the course of my research for this program, I discovered that there are five million anglers, not including trout and sea fishermen, in the United Kingdom. Now then, there's a trout on the end of the line of the gentleman from Yugoslavia. The second element of the game is to take the trout from the rod and throw it back to your teammate, and this is absolutely critical. If he misses, it doesn't count. If it goes in, I want to cheer. Yeah? Likewise, Le Bois. One each. So 15% of all households in the United Kingdom have at least one angler in them. I never realised that more people fished than actually watch or play football in the United Kingdom. Isaac Walton said, and that's a lovely shot of the Yugoslav going down from Bitola, big man. Isaac Walton said, angling like poetry, men are to be seen so. You just can't take to angling, you've got to be born to it. So, will this Bitola one count? It will, five seconds to go. And Le Bois. Yes, again, though. So, we have for Yugoslavia two fishes and 86 seconds. Two fish in 86 seconds. And for Switzerland, one fish, 90 seconds. Oh, they were just out yeah. of... Because the first fish was not good at all because it slided down, we took it afterwards. So the reason was it slided down. It slided down. So now then we are going Italy versus uh, Great Britain. Yeah. Attention. Three, two, one. Cheers going, come on, up goes our man. It's Brian Davison. Okay. Brian, we need the points, come back with me. Go on, go on, go on. But please, Brian, remember to get it in Elaine Venison's net. Brian is a miner, works down a local pit, 
and my breath is baited like the fish on his line. Brian, please, I want a big cheer if it goes in. It has! <laughs> Brian, up to the top, reel in, quickly. He's on the right, of course. And the Italians are Senegalia. Millions of fish, of course, in the Adriatic. Let me look at the time, Guido. 50 seconds. 50 go! seconds to go. There's a possibility, Brian, you can win this game and get six points. If that fish is still on the line, it's good. Oh. Oh, Brian, that has got to go in. It's got to go, and I want to cheer if it does. Yes! We make the time. Uh, one minute and 15 seconds unofficially. Well, that's faster than the first two. Yes, Gennaro is watching, he's giving a palpitation. Five seconds to go for limit time, because limit time is one minute 30. Yes. So, we have for Italy and for Natalie, all fishes, no fish. Nothing for Senegalia. And for Great Britain, two fishes, 70 seconds. Best time, 70 seconds for two fish. So Portugal, clamber on, Portugal and Belgium. Attention, three, two, one. Yes. Will they beat 70 seconds? I'll keep you updated with the time. Because Brian Davison was up there like lightning. That's a big handsome lad for Portugal. Oh. <laughs> No, he can't take it. That's not a good fish. It fell off the line. The rule is quite clear. It fell off the line. Oh, Gennaro has indicated that it's a foul fish. A foul fish for Belgium. Oh, that's a big, handsome, strapping lad. He's done it again, the Belgique. He can't keep his footing. The Portuguese lad, up to the top. He is Louis Solipa, an 18-year-old student. Look at that for brilliance. Determination on the face of the Belgium, he's called Andre. Andre Denis. And he's, he's done it again. If I were Alan Durban, I'd sign him for Sunderland's first team. <laughs> That's a cheer because Sunderland are a first division team, one of our prime teams in the first division. The Belgian jumps in, but I think he has to go again. The judge has told him he's got a foul fish. Ten seconds. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Little conference going on with the touch judges, and here comes Guido. We have for Belgium one fish, 71 seconds. Only one fish in 71. And Portugal, two fishes, 64 seconds. Oh, they just shaded out Sunderland, but now the points. Portugal, six points. Six points for the Algarve. Great Britain, five points. Five points for Sunderland. <laughs> We're in the money. Yugoslavia, four points. Vitula, four. Then Belgium, three points. Evergum, three. Then Switzerland, two points. Le Bois, two points. And Italy, one point. Senegalia, only one point. There's the readout. And it's good news, folks. In first place, Vitola with 16 points, but then coming up on the ropes, Sunderland with nine. <laughs> Equal second, the Algarve with nine, Issy with eight, Evergum seven, Lebois seven, Senegalia seven, and a wide open competition. And once again, Eddie with you. Well, thank you, Stuart. And after the first round, Yugoslav at 130, Italy second at 133, and third, Switzerland 136. And with me to start, was that all right for you? Yes, that's all right. We can start. Good. Free the fox. <laughs> Attention, three, two, one. There you go. This is a, a, a great game, is this? The fox catch him in a variety of all than it is a little Adam Shower. Yugoslavia in the lead. Taking part of the top, both in front, Great Britain, Italy, Portugal, Switzerland, and Yugoslavia. And the crowd are loving this fox. Oh, but well he goes. He nearly did a triple somersault. The Yugoslavia lad still in. In a good chicken and dog game. Big jersey called What Do You Want? No, where, where are they? There's the customers coming out. <laughs> you 
Yugoslavia still has got an easy way of doing it. He was shuffling himself down. And it's through. Compared to the beginning, some of the great things you were going to have. And I'm not quite sure, but it's through. It's strenuous, but the crowd are loving it. It's a big crowd, a great sporting crowd too, I might add. Have another crowd, is it, or was it just the way his head fits on? Yugoslavia. Straight to go. Oh. Well done. All right. Very good round, that. Yes, we have the times uh, for Yugoslavia, 1 minute 20. For Portugal, 1... No, 131. 131. For France, 1 minute 39. 139. For Switzerland, 146. For Great Britain, 147. For Italy, 148. And Belgium did not take an obstacle. They lost it, and we give the maximum time, two minutes for Belgium. Well, thank you very much, uh, Tinara. Back to Stuart. Well, thank you very much, Eddie. I've never seen anything quite like this. We have a rush of jokers. And first of all, we have the joker here. You're invited to play your joker in Sunderland. And it's represented by the lovely young girl from Senegalia, Buena Fortuna. Grazie. Well done. And now, Bitola enjoying themselves. Look at this cheeky little hat on this cheeky little wench. And look at the size of the guy behind her. He's the biggest man I've ever seen in my life. He's about six foot four, and his, his shoes are size 14. Incredible. Good luck to you. Good luck. And from the Algarve, ever smiling, playing there. And this is the Algarve symbol, which is the crab. We've seen them before, haven't we? Villa Mora, you won the final last year, playing with the Agua. And finally, the Belgians. Good luck to you. <laughs> this is the French couple. They go down. I won't tell you how they're going to do it. It will unfold as the game begins on Guido's whistle. Attention. Three, two, one. <laughs> they're linked together. Four jokers being played. So somebody's joker is going to take a tumble. So let's look at the Swiss in the middle. The Swiss in the middle, Laurent and Nicole, and a lot of Swiss support. You can hear in the background the car bills. And she's lifting up the hem of her little dress so you can see her orange undies. Beautifully costumed tonight, by the way, in the style, in the style of the 30s in the country house party. The guys in the Charleston Blazers and the Straw Cadies, they turn round, little quick uh, leg up on the bush and back we come. So on the Joker, we have the Italians in this first heat, but then three Jokers in the second. Coming back to the French, give me, the, give me a cheer for the French, Chavisi, come on! A very strong team, Issy, as I told you. They come from the southeast of Paris. About 50,000 people live there. It's a dormitory suburb for rather wealthy, affluent people. So they are well in keeping with the theme of our country house party tonight. Game finishes when Dog is safely ensconced in kennel. And I want to cheer as France go in, and it's... <laughs> on the track nearest to you, the audience, boys and girls, for Senegalia, on the Joker. A little cheer to acquaint people that the dog has gone. And a little polite applause for the Swiss. Come on, put your hands together. Nice polite applause for them. A little more. A little crescendo as they go in the kennel. And finally the cheer and... The shaggy dog story has a happy ending as delivered to Guido. So, we have... For Switzerland, 1.57 seconds. 
Les Bois, 157. For Italy, 142 seconds. The Italians of Senegal, 142. And the best time for France, 128 seconds. Viva EC with 128 on the starting line. Three jokers to be played. One or two will bite the dust. The Belgians, the Yugoslavs, the Portuguese, Guido. Stop. Attention. Three, two, one. This will be one heck of a hit. They're cracking off at great pace. No, no. No, no. The Portuguese, no, no. They've got to do it the proper way. They're sending them back. <laughs> They've invented a new way of doing it. But it's not in keeping. It's not in keeping with the spirit of Jason Frontier. Up the track, the Yugoslavs of Bitola. Bitola up the track in the middle. And the Belgians nearest you. Portugal tried it on and didn't succeed. So which joker is going to bite the dust? The round at the bottom. Do we have a cheer for the Belgians? Come on, we've got a cheer for the Belgians. On the joker. They've been training 12 months to the event. Give them some applause now. Come along. The Portuguese have recovered well. The Belgians coming in. Could be a fast time on the Joker. Very strenuous game. And a cheer when the Belgians go in. And we shall await the conclusion of the game from Guido. We sort out the debris. Gennaro is sprinting down to join me. Sure. You saw that we did not admit we did not admit the way of doing the game by the Portuguese team because we shoot that game during all demonstrations, they had always to make one step after the other. That the reason we send them back when they made the mistake. So, we have the time for Portugal, one minute, 50 seconds. They recovered well, the Algarve, to finish in 150. Yugoslavia, 149. Bitula in 149. And Belgium, 139. Avergem, 139. And the point, we have France, six points. EC, six points. We have afterwards Belgium, five points. Avergem, five. Plus four points for the Joker. Nine points for Avergem, a good Joker player. Then we have Italy, four points, plus two points for the Joker. Six points for Senegalia. Then we have Yugoslavia, three points, plus zero for the Joker. They've blown the Joker from Bittler, only three points. Portugal, two points. The Algarve, two. Plus zero for the Joker. Another blown Joker, we said they'd go. And Switzerland, one point. Les Bois have one point, which alters the state now of the competition. In the lead, we still have the Yugoslavs of Bitola, 19. Evergama, second with 16. Third, Isi with 14. Fourth, Senegali with 13. Fifth, the Algarve with 11. Sixth, are Sunderland with nine. Les Bois have eight. The competition still wide open, and Sunderland to play their Joker. And on we go to the next game. We have jokers to be played again. They're coming in. Les Bois. <laughs> ah, Les Bois. What is this from Les Bois? A worm, yes. So, bon chance, bon chance, Les Bois. And aussi, aussi the French joker from Issy, bon chance. To the game itself. To the game. It involves shooters. One from Portugal and one from Yugoslavia. They have to down pheasant from the butts. I won't tell you the method because it's in three heats. Without more ado, the game will unfold on your whistle, Gennaro. Attention. Three, two, one. Firstly, we have to make the pheasant rise. And we do it in the manner of the pheasant, pulling a big gong. So when we down the pheasant, the score goes up, it's one apiece. One for Yugoslavia and one for the Algarve. 
The pheasant has to rise. There you are. The pheasant rises, and you'll see a white mark on the pole. See that pheasant fall there? That was Yugoslavia getting another one. It's a very clever, ingenious game. Because the man doesn't fire the gun, the man doesn't fire the gun, he actually pulls a cord which releases the pheasant, but only when it's on the white mark. It's a clever game devised by Stuart Ferber, our mad designer. The score at the moment is three for Yugoslavia, four for Portugal. As many as you can down in limit time of 1.30. Another one for Yugoslavia, four apiece. Game for strong men. We fancy our chances to win another one for Portugal. Another one makes the score, four, five. Up to the top, we are going in heat two. No. One down, four, four. Oh, the bullets are flying tonight. Six for the Algarve, five for Bitola. Ten seconds to go. For goodness sake, they can't down many more, can they? Attention. Attention, sir. And that's it. Let's go to the middle. Some beautiful... Give them some applause then, please, if you will. Congratulations. Some dead-eyed dick shooting there, Janel. Yes. We have uh, seven peasants for Portugal. Seven, seven for the Algarve. And for Yugoslavia, five. Five for Bitola. Yes. In comes Sunderland. Mustachioed, bespectacled, ready to die for Queen and country and Sunderland. Let's go. Attention. Three, two, one. It all depends on the man banging the gong. Our marksman is Richie Wood. Richie Wood, it's one nil at the moment to Switzerland. Two nil. You've got to time. Yes, one for Sunderland. You can hear it from the cheers. Incidentally, there are two million shotguns in the United Kingdom. Oh, no, no, for Sunderland. Two million shotguns, and Richie Wood is doing one for us. He's a long way to go because Portugal had seven and Yugoslavia five. A man banging the gun. Bites the dust. Gary Hutchinson, our captain, is banging the hammer. It's vital he gets him to the top. Strong, a groan comes from the crowd. Get it up, Gary. Up. Up, this one's going to count. It's 5-3 at the moment to Switzerland. Yes, 5-4. 5-4 or 5-5. 5-5 for Sunderland. 5 to les voir. Come on, Gary. You can feel the tension at 7 to Switzerland. Six. Come on, one more over in the points. Ten, Ten seconds, seconds to go. Well, Gary, Gary, my boy, was it good enough to put us in the points? I await the news from Ghent. Yes, we have eight peasants for Switzerland and five for Britain. Eight for Le Bois and, and five for Sunderland. The Britain. Belgian marksman, the French marksman. On the starting line, yes. limbering up with Britain. Yes. Attention. Attention, three, two, one. Jackie Van Rissel. It's one nil. One each. France, one. Belgium, one. France, two. Belgium, one. By the way, there are four million air guns in the United Kingdom, two million shotguns, and 800,000 licensed shotguns. We are performing here by special license of Iron and Wheel. Ooh. Watch that Frenchman bang that gong. That is Bruno. Another one for Belgium. Yes. Watch that French technique. Just look at that man. He's just simply lifting that hammer and hitting it hard. 
<laughs> well, if you can lip read, you'll understand what he said. I'm not going to tell you. Oh. The score, France 6, Belgium 5. <laughs> One each more, 7-6. And now we have 10 seconds. 10 seconds to go, and both these guys really... Oof. Attention, to Well, that man from France, he's, he's going mad. That Frenchman on the hammer there is a plumber. Oh, mighty yeah. muscle. We have for Belgium eight pheasants. Eight pheasants for Evergum. For France also eight pheasants. Eight pheasants for Issy on their joker. So the points. And the points for Switzerland. Six points plus six points for the winning joker. Twelve points for Le Bois. Ooh. For Belgium, also six points. Effigum, six points. For France, six points plus six points for the winning joker. Carbells are going mad. Issy, 12 points. Then for Portugal, three points. Three points for the Algarve. For Yugoslavia, two points. Two points for Bitola. And for Great Britain, also two points. Two points also for Great Britain. Here's the printout. So in the lead, new leaders now. EC with 26, then Afagam with 22, Vitula 21, Le Bar 20, the Algarve 14, Senegalia 13, Sunderland, but remember they haven't played their joker yet, 11 and we're at the bottom. With that, over to Eddie for round two of the Fiddle Rule. Well, after two rounds, this is the order of the Fox Hunt, leading Yugoslav at 120, next Portugal at 131. Yes, and third Italy, 133. Getting very close. Will you start the game, please? Yeah. Free the fox. Three. Go. Attention. Three, two, one. He's gone. Right way to go. This is a smashing game, I think. Off the go. Early start. Red Britain in the lead. Started on one another. Up to go. Very good game. Switzerland. There's one way for the ride down. Switzerland. Well, they used to mountains and what have you. Down in a bit. Round the corner. Switzerland. It is a fair old jump down there to that line. <laughs> well, that's one way of enjoying it. The crowd on the toes with this, and uh, it's still going. Got the trail, Switzerland. Portugal. With a few in of that, following them. And it's Switzerland, Switzerland, and Switzerland gets. What's he doing? He's there. Portugal. Well, it's through, and there's quite a few signals for France. And he's taken quite a bit out of him, the Belgian boy. Great Britain is showing the heat and the end of the subject. So, just within time. We are for Switzerland, 124 seconds. For Italy, 127 seconds. For Portugal, 129. For Yugoslavia, 130. For Belgium, 135. For France, 144. And for Great Britain, 200. Well, thank you very much. We had a Bengali from Switzerland and back to Stewart in England. Thank you very much, Eddie. And now, at long last, we have the British Joker of Sunderland. Played by Denise. Good luck, Denise, and you need it. Back to the game. Leave the joker with me. I'll shift. 
I'll ship my own joker. We'll put it there for good luck because remember the car that Eddie and I drove at the very start of the program was a real one, a beautiful car. Our version of the same motor car is made of wood. It's very, very heavy. It does have a chauffeur. He is called Tony. He is a teacher from Sunderland. Good luck, Tony, in your driving. There he is. What do you think you'll do the course in? We hope to do it in at least a minute. In at least a minute, right. In the back of the game, we have Alan and Denise. They are two teachers as well, three teachers in our car, in opposition with the Belgians. They've got to load the car with luggage. The hunting party is returning from the shoot and head back to the garage. Gennaro. We are ready. Attention. Three, two, one. Load up the bags. Of course, then they have to break a minute on the joke again, and this is absolutely critical for some. It's a game for the very strong, and certainly not the faint hearts. The Belgians off the blocks first. The Belgians off the blocks. Come on, Britain. The Belgians have got it. You can hear the outside Belgium. It's all course. Listen to the atmosphere! In come England! Home, beauty and Sunderland to take the backs off! The off mode, they've all got to go in. They go in the garage, Denise has been struck by a sack. In goes the sack. The gun cases, the hamper, never mind Denise, get up and finish, get in. The game finishes when the doors are closed, all the luggage inside. Close the doors, close the doors! Stay there while the Belgians... Give me a groan for the Belgians. Ah, oh, come on, ah. Oh. Come on, we can afford to be generous. Give them some applause because we can... That was a heck of a time by Sunderland. They're all losing our voices. It's a very, very heavy motor car. We've got to offload the bags. Return. Here we come unload. Do we get it over silence because we're waiting for the Sunderland team to get a peep? They're having a peep outside. The gun cases go in for the Belgians. Right. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to open the cage and you can greet the Sunderland team. Out they come, a nice big cheer for them. Come on. Come here, come round me. Come here, Tony, because we are... We're Elaine, we're baiting our breath with the big Alan at the back. Come in, Gennaro, and tell us the time. Do they want to know their time uh, for Great Britain? One oh six. Oh. Magic, magic. And we have... One oh six. One oh six, and for Belgium, one fifty-eight. One fifty-eight, you can go and rejoice. Let's get the motor cars back to base, chaps. <laughs> in the meanwhile, at the bottom end, Fresh cars okay. for Are France. Ready? ready at you attention. Yeah. attention. Three, two, one. We're going to watch the time for it. Walking up the village. And it's all about simulating the village of tonight. Did you know that we did have 1,179 members of the nobility in July 81? Three peers of blood royal, two archbishops, 25 dukes, 29 marquises, 157 earls and countesses, 104 viscounts, 24 bishops, 826 barons and baronesses, and 3,224 knights of the realm. What a load of useless information. But just in case you wanted to know. The time, Gennaro, the time. We have at that moment. How old is you? 55. And now. I think we're safe for Arnold Joko. One minute now. They have six seconds to offload, and I don't think they can do it. I don't think they can do it, Yugoslavia Vitula. I'm watching the time more than anything. We're all right, you can breathe easy. We're up to one minute, 15 seconds. The Joko is safe for the moment. We're in the points. Okay. We're in the points, the French are very pleased. 
Alors, the French, please come over here. Come on. Let's see who they were. Jean-Marc. Jean-Marc Blazonneau. Jean-Marc Blazonneau, by the way, here from Issy, is a very important man. He is a national champion at 400 meters. Is that so? No. No. What are you? What sort of runner are you? What athlete? I run uh, 40, 400 meters and uh, 800 meters. 400 meters and 800 meters. Give Jean-Marc Bazineau a big hand. He's a national champion. There we are. Allez France. Voilà, and the times. And we have the times for Yugoslavia, 127. Pitola, 127. And for France, 119. 119 and for Isi. Great Britain remains the best time at the moment. Attention. Three, two, one. The team of Senegal and the Swiss. I could have a ripple of applause for both teams. Just polite applause, nothing more at the moment, because I know you've got your fingers and your legs crossed, hoping that our joker is safe. And I am keeping my eyes skinned. Four. The time. 35 seconds. And I can scarcely breathe. The Swiss taking their time. I don't think they're going to challenge us. They've got to get to the top of the slope in 55 seconds to beat Sunderland. Here come the Swiss. 50 seconds. They have a spot of trouble. I think we're going to get 12 points. It's a minute now. Everything quiet. For Italy, one minute twenty-eight. Senegal, one twenty-eight. And for Switzerland, one twenty-four. So for Les Bois, one twenty-four. Then the points for Great Britain: six points plus six points for the winning joker. Twelve points for Sunderland. Then for France, five points. Five points for EC. For Switzerland, four points. Four points for Le Bois. For Yugoslavia, three points. Bitola, three points. For Italy, two points. Senegal, two. And for Belgium, one point. And for Evergum, only one point. And the competition really warming. Where are we now for Sunderland? In the lead, Issy of France with 31 points. Second, Le Bois with 24. Equal second, Bitola with 24. Then Evergum with 23. But Sunderland creeping up with 23 points in equal fourth place. Senegalia, six with 15, and the Algarve with 14. And now we come back into the stately home knockout manor. There is the ballroom, and as always, you know, at every party, it doesn't matter whether you've got a council house, terrace house, or a mansion, there's always a drunk who's going to come in, he's going to break all your glasses, he's going to smash your cutlery, he's going to kiss your wife and abduct your daughter. And there is the Sunderland drunk. Leaping about. Well, we've done a bit in that time, you know, innit? We've done a few, sunk a few. And he's got to come through and undergo the trial of fire at the hands of some adversaries who are going to try and trip him up. Sunderland coming from behind the mansion on Guido's whistle. Attention. Three, two, one. Out he comes. He'll enjoy this one. He's got to make several moves at the table. <laughs> and uh, look at the eyes rolling away. The hair almost real. And can you guess who modelled for this one? But it's a good run by Sunderland. He's got to sit down facing the camera and the time he's taken. No, a fools!
Hubert comes in and he says, We are for Great Britain, 38 seconds. For Sunderland, 38 seconds. The audience are pleased, identifying with him in some peculiar way. Portugal are next. Attention, three, two, one. Portugal come through, the maxim. <laughs> fingers he comes through and he gets a time oh. <laughs> little applause please for him come on hands together <laughs> and Pino comes in the Italian judge and uh, what is the pronouncement for Portugal 36 oh, seconds. shaded out by two seconds by the Algarve 36 seconds for the Algarve now we have a young Belgian from Evergham in Flanders. Yeah. Attention. Three, two, one. And they brew a very strong ale in Africa. Oh. Let us have wine, women and laughter. Sermons and soda water the day after. Shoelace is undone, but... They can't bring him down. <laughs> It could be a good time, though. Okay, I heard, I heard Trant mention. Yeah, yeah. Always best. Belgium, 31 seconds. 31 seconds for Evergum, the Belgium. And France? France, with their wine leg. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Attention. Three, two, one. French drunk men has missed the first table and then we must put it at the last place. Yeah. Sorry, but the rule was very clear and was explained quite uh, clearly to all the team this morning. So Switzerland are there at the back. Attention. Three, two, one. Oh, he's eager to get to grips with the tables. You have to make a complete 360 degree turn of the tables. That's it. It's written in the good books that Garrett is in. <laughs> Look at his little legs under the costume. He's only five sides, this guy. <laughs> Yeah, exactly for Switzerland, 44 seconds. <laughs> and he's collapsed. He poor fellow's collapsed. <laughs> Our scene boys rush in to salvage him, take him away, give him a large port. Attention, three, two, one. <laughs> Claret for boys, port for men, but the real heroes drink brandy. <laughs> Senegalia, where they drink a lot of frescati. And Oriento. Also good run this by Senegalia. They can't bring him down. Must be very strong. Oops! Could be the fastest time of the night. Oh. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for your very warm applause. 
where the distance he staggers away into the night air. For Italy, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. He's on his knees now. 30 seconds for Senegalio. For Italy, six points. Six points for Senegalio. Belgium, five points. Africa, five. Portugal, four points. Four points for the Algarve. Yeah. Great Britain, three points. Three points for Sunderland. Switzerland, two points. Les Bois, two. And France, one point. And the French uh, just have one point. So there's the printout now. We have the leaders, EC with 32, Avagam with 26, Le Bois with 26, Sunderland with 26, three. <laughs> then Bitola with 24, Senegalia 21, the Algarve 18 for the last time on the Field Rouge, and we hope we do well. Eddie with you. Well, thank you very much, Stuart. And the traditions after three rounds are first, Yugoslavia 120, second, Switzerland 124, Third, Italy, 127. One to go. Can Yugoslavia be overtaken? You're going to see that and all many other things. Yes. <laughs> Free the fox. <laughs> Attention, three, two, one. It's uh, going to be a grandstand finish with this one. Got 120 to beat. That's the figure, and the crowd are really rising to it. Coming on the short side. We're coming on the, the blind side. There's, there's a trap. Belgium. This is a big guy, I think. It's good. France. Got the tail. Got the tail. That was the thing to get. So by now, you have uh, got the idea of all the games. The for Belgium. Losing pace, rather strenuous. Did not beaten 120. Belgium. I would say, could they be overtaken? Well, it looks like uh, France joining. Well, there are a lot of uh, happy people there. It's going to be settled any moment now, and um, it's uh, quite exciting. So, a great, great crowd, being good sports, well done. We have all the times, Eddie. Yes. Very slowly. Now for Belgium, 126. For France, 136. For Switzerland, 140 for zero. For Portugal, 141. For Italy, 145. For Yugoslavia, 146. And Great Britain left two minutes. Oh, oh. So we can give now directly the points for uh, the blackboard. For Yugoslavia, seven points. For Switzerland, six points. For Belgium, five points. For Italy, four points. For Portugal, three points. For France, two points. And for Great Britain, one point. Ah, well, uh, there is the situation. And handing back to Stuart. Well, let's have a look at it now as we go into the last game. Issy, uh, the leaders with 34 points. Evergam with 33. Le Bois with 32. Bitola with 31. Sunderland with 27. Senegalia with 25. And the Algarve with uh, 21. Well, who's going to win tonight? Let's now step back into the middle of the ballroom because this is the final dance of the night. In other words, the last waltz. So here is Knockout Manor, and behind me, the seven couples 
who are going to dance their way to fame and fortune, we hope. Britain are nearest to you on the crowd side, Yugoslavia, Portugal, Italy, France, Switzerland, Belgium, and I'm looking for Gennaro to start. He's over here, and we are ready. It's an elimination dance. Attention. Three, two, one. <laughs> Elimination dance. The last one to arrive goes. The skirts of the girls are on wheels. The crinolines, they have to make a circumlocution. Sunderland are last at the moment. We need to go faster. Come on, the Sunderland pair who are Paul and Yvonne. And the moment we're going to be last. Oh, and we've gone. Sunderland, give me a groan. Yes, it's a pity, but very clearly. Great Britain will take place seven. Place seven. Shall we go over here where Britain were and start the game from here? Come on, boys. Let's go here. A lot of disappointment. But here we are. Can we start? We don't. Attention. Attention. Three, two, one. Six couples start. Who's going to win the event tonight? The last one goes. But uh, one certain thing is that Sunderland won't be representing Britain in the final in Belgrade next week. The last one will go. Is it Yugoslavia, Vitola, or is it Evergum? It's going to be... And... Guido advanced towards me on the edge of our stage and say... That's very clear, Yugoslavia is eliminated on the sixth place. So it's Yugoslavia in sixth position. Right, Guido. Attention. Three, two, one. Off we go. The Algarve going mad. But let's have a look at the fiends representing their country in the final next week already. Lassine of Belgium with 45. Itagan with 40. Le Canet for France, Dartmouth for Britain, that's a racing certainty. The last one in will be, look for the Belgians, I think. Collapse of start Belgian party. The Eliminato and Guido says. Oh, it was very, very close, but Belgium is eliminated at the fifth place. In fifth place, Evergum have gone, leaving four. Off we go. We are not on the line. On the line, please. Come forward on the line. France. So it's Portugal, Italy, France and Switzerland. It's very important. Yes. Attention. Three, two, one. Portugal off the blocks fast. A good couple. A Portuguese couple. Who are they? Jose and Rarina. Italy are going to be first in, followed by Portugal. Then the French are... <laughs> Carrying the Entente Cordiale a little too far. Well, come on, a gentleman, go and rescue the lady. So, we have France on the first place. EC have uh, fourth place. Three spots to go. We are ready on the line. By the way, representing Portugal in the final will be Lisbon because the Algarve haven't come up to scratch tonight. Attention, three, two, one. Oh, Algarve, so quick on the blocks. The game is, of course, as you know, by now. Make your turn, 360 degrees. And I think the Italians didn't circumlocute properly. The Italians in first, but I think they may have gone. I'm not so sure. One can never say, one can never prejudge, you know, Paul. The, yeah. Italian, team, the Italian team did not make the complete round, uh, uh, and that will be that team to be eliminated. Italy. Ah, dobbiamo eliminare l'Italia perché non ha fatto il giro completo in mezzo alla pista. So our grand final is between Switzerland and Portugal. So we have Italy on the third place. Senegalia third. And now, so, big final, final, attention. Three, two, one. 
The Algarve once again first off the blocks. And <laughs> he wrestles his partner to the ground. Yes. <laughs> uh, we have uh, Switzerland second place. Les Bois second place. And Portugal at first place. The Algarve first place. Yes. And we can give the points for Portugal seven points. The Algarve pick up seven. For Switzerland six points. Les Bois six. For Italy five points. Senegal you five. For France four points. For EC four. For Belgium three points. Avogum three. For Yugoslavia two points. Bitola, two points, and for Great Britain, one point. For Old Sunderland, one point. So now let's have a look, and we read from the bottom. From the bottom, the Algarve had 28, but then Sunderland had 28. In fifth place, Senegali with 30. Bitola with 33 points were in fourth place. Avagam were in third place with 36 points. And Issy, uh, Le Moulineau were in first place with 38 points, tying with the Swiss of Le Bois. So Issy will go forward to our grand final. Le Bois and Issy, the joint winners of tonight. And now let's have a look who is going to the final in Belgrade next week. So representing Belgium, we have Lessine, qualified with 45 points. The Swiss of Ittigen, qualified with 40 points. Issy, the winners tonight, Qualified with 38 points. Then Dartmouth will represent us, having come second with 39. Lignani will represent Italy, having come first with 46. Lisbon, having come first with 48, will represent Portugal. And Pula represent Yugoslavia with 45. All that is next week. But now, let's come to tonight, where Mr. Alan Hart, the controller of BBC One, will now present the trophy to the captain of EC and the captain of Lewis. competition and isn't it nice to have a dead heat at the end wonderful they get a trophy each so righto eddie come over here come over here and say your good night night good night and now where is where is my tweenie with the champagne it's been a marvelous night come on come on darling with the champagne come on here comes the champagne everybody celebrates so let me say on behalf of us Thank you, Sunderland, and goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.